Okay, today I'm going to show you, or everyone, how to install Windows XP or any kind of Windows in Boot Camp using a MacBook. Okay, there's a couple things you're going to need. Obviously, an Intel-based MacBook. Um, I mean, I've printed this out, you don't need to, but the Boot Camp install installation setup guide. And I just had that just because this is you know, my second time doing this, whatever. Um, you're going to need the OS X install disk 1 that came with your MacBook, where is it, right there, alright, install disk 1, and you're also going to need a copy of Windows XP with SP Service Pack 2 or higher, which right here I have one with number 3 on it, oh, it also needs to be like, Hold on, I'll tell you exactly which versions it can be. Um, I don't know why I didn't have this open up. So it is. To the wrong page. Okay, you need either XP Home Edition Professional with Service Pack Two or later, or Vista Home Basic Premium Business or Ultimate. So I'm using. What's it called? XP Pro with Service Pack 3, so it should be good. Um, you're also going to need, like, what is it? Either some movie to watch, or, like, some other computer that you can do whatever you want on. Some Coke, some Pepsi, and whatever kind of energy drink, because this is going to take a while. Um, so, yeah. First thing you're going to want to do is either go into your applications or to Spotlight, type in boot space camp right there's the boot camp assistant um I'll zoom in for you boot camp assistant click on that okay so you got that click continue select your you know your sizes that you want I'm gonna make that about what is it 25 26 ah 26 that way you know it's semi even alright then you click partition this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to fast forward through this. Okay, so now we're going to start Windows installation. I... Okay. Alright. I was going to do this earlier, but now will be the time to open up whatever drink you have. Oops. Alright. Well, yeah. Almost dropped it there, so. Whatever. Okay. So, it says you'll need an authentic 32 bit Microsoft. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, this is the time where you insert your Windows disk. Okay. So, you take your disk. I'll just pan down there for a second. Move the coat. Stick it in the super drive. Let that lit up. Right, let's try and find where I had it. Right, right there. Okay, so as you can see, zooming in, there's boot camp, which is gonna make the little hard drive partition. Or that is the hard drive partition, I should say. Um, and there you can see right here. I don't know, whatever, that's what the name of my XP disk was, but then you click start installation. Now if you see my other video, or my unboxing video, you know usually when it gets to these kind of screens, my focus bugs out. I have no clue why. I think it's because of the flashing or the refresh rate on the MacBook, but it's no big deal. It's only on these loading um, gray and blue screens. You know, just a regular, what's it called? XP welcome screen.
Okay. Um. So yeah, there is Windows XP booted up using a MacBook and boot camp. Um. Let's see here. Now you have to install the drivers. So. Okay. Sorry, I was just reviewing the little guide so I don't mess anything up. Um, first thing it says is hold that down. I believe that should work. Oh no, of course, and the drivers are installed. The keyboard's not going to work yet. Or at least not the exact one. Alright, so you go start my computer and go to the optical drive. Go to or you gotta right click so you, you you have to put two fingers on the trackpad and click I think I'm not sure oh just kidding it says eject this disk I keep forgetting the drivers aren't installed yet okay so my disk comes out I'm just gonna stick back in the case real quick um Alright, this is the part where you're going to need your um, Mac disk. Um, here we go. Put that over there. Okay, like I said, you're going to need, there we go, the install disk 1 because this has all your drivers on it. 